My whole face looks good. We'll be talking about. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. Today we're doing a Valentine's Day look and I wanted to do a little twist on it because everything I've been seeing is pink, baby pink, hot pink, or still leaning towards the cool tones. So this is what I decided to do today. There's some gold on my lid. There is still a little pink and purple to keep with the holiday, but I wanted to make it a little more neutral and more wearable for people who don't really like pink that much. Before we get into the video, if it's your first time here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see how I got this Valentine's Day look, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're starting off with my brows done and I wanna do something a little different today. I've been seeing all of these Valentine's Day looks and honestly, I was just like, you know, you've already filmed a bunch of pink looks. People have seen that, need to do something else. And I'm like, but that's what's trending. So I am gonna do a Valentine's Day look, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So it's not gonna be as much pink for those of us who don't necessarily like a lot of pink or want to wear a lot of pink. So I'm going to tape the outer edges of my eye because I do want to have a crisp line. If you have trouble doing a wing or worry about not being able to clean up your um, around your eyes to make it a sharper line, this is a great way to do it. I'm going to start off with primer and today I'm using one I haven't used in a while. I'm using my XX by Revolution. This is their second skin primer. I just posted my favorites video. If you haven't seen my primers and foundation and concealer, basically like all my complexion stuff, go watch that. But this primer is very similar to my Tatcha Smoothing Primer and the Elf Buddy Primer. It looks like this and it comes with this little spoon so you can actually scoop some out. I don't know if you guys can see that I just did. This is very creamy so you do not need a lot of it and we're just going to use this to help smooth out these pores. Y'all know how I do. First time I used this and this time apparently I used way too much. Y'all I barely put anything in. <laughs> Look at this. Oh Lord. All right, so we're just gonna let that sink in while we do our eyes. Today, I'm going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise Makeup Base, and I really just kinda wanna do a get ready with me as opposed to a tutorial. I feel like I do a lot of tutorials. We're not gonna talk through this as much. So in honor of this being a Valentine's Day look and the fact that Natasha Denona just came out with her new mini love palette, I decided to pull mine out. I got this last year and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I might have used it once. So it is definitely time. So this look is going to focus more on this color here and then we're also going to use more of the rose gold and then this dark shade as opposed to so much of the pink this is still pink we have to do it but i'm going to do my crease with my bronzer and today i'm using the physician's formula butter bronzer so we're just going to start to help kind of give the transition without it having to be pink so now I'm going in with Soul. I like that this gives us just a little wash of pink, but it's not like super crazy. You have to come out with pink glitter and everything else. Not everybody likes pink. So now I'm going to go in the crease and I'm going to use Commitment, which is one of her cream to powders. And it's this dark shade here. It looks black, but it's actually like a very dark 
purple. So we are gonna do a little bit of a cut crease, but right now we're just going to build this up. Do you guys have any plans for Valentine's Day? Like normally, you know, a lot of people do the traditional go out to eat and all that stuff. And I mean, with COVID right now, you still can go out to eat, but I don't know. I feel like everything's so different now. You can't just pick up and go like you used to. So it makes you have to be creative. blending so nice. I'm just gonna keep building this up. It looks really dark. It's still very purple, but I'm okay with that. If you want, you can also go over it with a black, which I am thinking about doing, just to help really deepen it, but we'll see how it comes out. I just want this to be really, really smoky so that it doesn't look as purple, but it's still purple. So I'm gonna go back with sole around the edges to blend it. See, we got some pink, but it's not a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna cut my crease real quick and I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna speed through because you guys know how to do this. So that's the way out right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. All right, creases are done and we're gonna use the gold in this palette. We are not gonna do pink. Even though we got a little bit on the edge, we're gonna do gold on our lid. So I'm gonna start off with Lifetime. This one here. as I can to where we cut the crease. And then on the inner part, we're going to use transparent to the shade here. So pretty. I haven't used this palette. I don't know why. I just gravitating towards other stuff, but this is absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we have right now. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Figured I need to give y'all something a little different. I've been doing cool tones. That was the other thing. I couldn't decide like, did I wanna do like a cool tone silver? And I was like, no, you've been doing that too. Do something different. So here we are. And guys, a lot of times I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I sit down. Like I'm sitting here and I have my sultry palette that I was thinking about using. And then I just changed my mind at the last minute. Like none of this is ever really planned. I have ideas, but now we're just gonna blend. And I'm just taking that same commitment, the dark shade and lightly going over the edge to make them blend in together. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a black because I just wanna deepen this up so it's not so purple. 
So I'm gonna grab my Pat McGrath black eyeshadow that I have and we're gonna deepen up the edge and make it more smoky. I don't know if y'all remember, but I got this during the summer probably in one of my hauls and it's just this black. It came in a kit with a really pretty blue. We're gonna start building this up. I'm gonna take my tiny, tiny brush again and take a little bit of that black. I think it just kind of helped amp it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with my wing liner. And guess what? You get to draw right on the tape. This wing is big today. I have no idea what that's gonna look like till I take these things off, but let's see. bad I haven't used this trick in forever all right so I'm just gonna go through the rest of my face really fast you guys have seen me do my foundation a million times so like I said not so much a tutorial mainly we were just focused on this eye look and I wanted to share some products with you guys that I've hauled and haven't used on camera yet so today I'm using the Josie Marin vibrancy argan oil foundation fluid I picked this up in a Sephora haul I think it was like 15 bucks or something on sale. I guess they're running out of it, like they're gonna discontinue it. I have the shade Reverend RG75. So that is just about a pump at one and a quarter pumps, we'll say. I'm sorry if you guys are tired of hearing me talk about it, but I'm just so happy that I am off of the Accutane finally. I can tell a difference in my lips for sure already. It's only been a couple weeks, but they are definitely not as dry as they used to be and not peeling. Definitely not having the cracking and everything else I used to have going on. That mess was crazy. My doctor said it's gonna take a while for my face to balance back out, for everything to go back to what, well not go back, but to go to what the new normal is gonna be, which is supposed to be just basically like normal skin, which I don't think I've ever had that. So I am excited to see what that's gonna feel like. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second pump. Same as I normally do. This is very liquidy. So I am excited. I can't wait to see like what my skin is gonna feel like once everything is said and done because to go from being plagued with acne for like all my life pretty much like I had it in high school then it kind of calmed down and then kicked back up in my 30s and you know I'm gonna be 39 this year so struggling with that for so long like that was my norm and now this I'm just like and I used to think it was products breaking me out all the time, but I mean, you guys have seen, I'm using new products almost every single time I do my makeup and I haven't had any issues. It covered my dark spots really, really well. But we are going to set this because this is very glowy. For concealer, I'm going in with my Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. This is in the shade 4.0. 05W Tan Pecan. I feel like it's been a little minute since I used this. But yeah, it's just been, the journey itself was pretty, I mean, first world problems to say like, oh my, getting rid of my acne was a hard journey. But part of the thing that they warn you about is that you can have joint pain and like soreness and stiffness. 
because it dries you out so bad. So like there would be some mornings I would wake up and literally like hobble out of bed because my lower back would hurt so bad. But yeah, I don't think I use this on camera. I like the finish of it and I like the coverage. Like this is definitely full coverage. As y'all can see, this concealer is not playing any games. Like that is full coverage. Definitely am gonna set under my eyes. I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Powder. Y'all, some of this stuff is a tongue twister. This is white. And since I already have my eyes done, we don't need to bake too much. Y'all, I would never ever draw my wings this big freehand, but I love how this looks. It's so like, I feel like this powder is just like sticking where I put it. It's not, oh, I hope it's gonna blend out okay and not look all crazy. I love how everything is just smoothing out. I look airbrushed. Yes. Oh, I love how this looks already. And I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, and this one is in Translucent Medium. See how that makes a difference? Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. To contour, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cream contour here. Which is another reason why I didn't wanna use too much powder. We said glam, right? Valentine's Day glam, gotta get it. This, we just want to stay mostly on the outer edge and then we'll bronze to help blend it. Come through cheekbones. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is in the sculpting shade. I showed you this, it was in my favorites. And I talked about how I like to use it not to contour, but just to bronze because it isn't that dark. So I'm just gonna set the areas where I put the cream, where I put the concealer. Ooh, we are sculpted, yes. All right, so now we're gonna finish up the bottom lash line and I'm gonna take my pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with that dark, dark purple shade and just smoke this out. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, when I do glam eyeshadow looks like this, I always have to take a break and put eye drops in because I stick myself in the eye every single time. And then I'm gonna take Soul, which is the lighter transition shade, and just go underneath that a little bit. And then I'm going to take Lifetime, which is the lid shade in the middle, and put that here the inner third and then take a break and go put my eye drops in does anybody else have that problem like i watched my color pop video and my eyes were so red in that video and i was just like this looks bad and so i went and bought eye drops so that i can start using them because i didn't want my videos to look all crazy and then i'm going to take the transparent shade that we put on the inner corner 
and just connect everything. Y'all, I didn't spray my brush for any of this stuff. Like these colors are so pigmented. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black since I'm not using eyeliner and just go right along my lash line. I have so much stuff I need to play with. I bought that Maron Mixing Medium and I bought all those um, duochrome shades for the holidays and I haven't used any of that stuff yet and I need to. I need to play around. I just always worry about my videos being too long or y'all like not wanting to watch because it's something crazy so I just don't do it but I need to do that so comment below and let me know if you guys want to see how to use that stuff. I don't know we're going to be learning together so the blush I'm using today is this Too Faced Your Love is King blush. A little bit well <laughs> We know how I am with blush, so I don't want it to be too, too much, but we put in some blush, y'all know. If you've been here, you know how I am. And then for highlighter today, I am going to be using this Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby. This is a little bitty one that I got with a lip gloss, and this is what the shade looks like very pretty i'm pretty sure i have one of these open somewhere already but i don't know where it's at so i just pulled this out the drawer yep does it for me every time for lips we're not gonna do a pink i know i always do but we're just gonna do a nude i have my rimmel full color lip liner the exaggerate in shade epic and this is more of a my lips but better like this literally looks like my lips when they're not covered with foundation I probably could have went a little bit darker but we don't want to take away from the eye look so we're gonna leave that like that and then we're gonna use this Milani naked matte bullet lipstick who am i using a bullet lipstick never that looks good i'm gonna put mascara on i'm gonna put my lashes on and then i'm gonna come back and that is gonna be the finished look so i'll be right back all right guys, so this is it for the final look. I did go ahead and line my lips just a little bit more with a little bit darker of a shade. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, and this is in the shade 07 Brandy. So it is still a bit of a kind of reddish, pinkish, brownish, but I just had to. I had to because I could not stand my lips and my face almost <laughs> looking the same color. And I decided not to put lashes on. I have been absolutely in love with this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm gonna come in closer so you guys can see. So I don't have lashes on right now, but I just feel like, I mean, obviously they don't look like false lashes, but I just feel like they look good and they look long and they're not overpowering the eye look. So we're just gonna roll with it. This is my Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys like it. It's different. It's still a little pink. It's a little purple Valentine's, but the gold just kind of makes it a little more neutral. So I feel like you can wear this with anything. It doesn't have to be with just pink or black. So this is the final look. I love how this turned out. And I forgot how much I love that eyeshadow palette. I bought it. I swatched it. I might have played in it once. I don't know. But... This is where we are right now, and I definitely need to start using it more. And that little tape trick, yes, gonna do that more too. Only thing I think I used in this video that you guys hadn't really seen before was the foundation. I have worn it off camera and I love it. And I do feel like I have to set it just because of how dewy it looked. Everything else, I'm not sure about the concealer, which y'all saw. The coverage like my under eyes look so good 
My whole face looks good. What are we talking about? Anyway, I would just keep going on and on about how much I love this stuff. If you guys love how this look turned out, please give this video a thumbs up. And I appreciate you staying with me till the end. If this is your first time watching, subscribe, join the family, stick around. I'll have more videos coming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.